Hey guys, this is Dwingman97 with the first ship tour for Naval Battle Zone, where I will be showing some really awesome builds by players on the server, which is awesome because it is. So today I am here with Dooley1999 in a ship three plot, and he built. Oh come on, jump! There we go. He built the USS. Oh, man, what was the name of that? Quite a tongue twister, I might say. Um, da -da -da -da, back in comments. I will find the name of it. Um, I believe it was called Prometheum, or Prometheum. It's really pain in the butt to pronounce. So, I will tell you the name by the end of this when we go up to the main helm. So, up in the front here, we have doubles a two set of triple cannons which is quite deadly I'm I'm not a fan of getting attacked by triple cannons cuz if you got anything smaller you lose that's just how it is they're overpowered but they're also expensive so we have two trip or two triple cannons on the front we've got the main helm I like this wool design on the side I, it looks really really cool so the wool design and then he's got his flag up on top there, made out of quartz and diamond blocks. And then we have a small escape plane, which looks okay. I mean, it could be done a little bit better, but I'll help Dooley out getting a little bit better escape plane, because there's plenty of room up there that we could do something really cool. And then there's two more triple cannons in the back. So, that's kind of the basics on the outside. I haven't even looked on the inside, so this is going to be quite fun for me. So, in the bottom, you go up into this little tiny trap door. And that takes you up to the top deck, where there's the triple cannons. And now what it looks like is a really long deck to get up to the triple cannons in the plane. Yeah, another ladder to get up there, which is awesome. And we go in here. Dooley, I believe, is having me follow him so it looks like the main control for the crew with all the instruments and fun stuff so that's kind of nice I like that I like the chairs being lighter than everything else back here we've got a crafting table and seems to be a furnace I don't know why you'd need a furnace though um up here there's some more instruments and I believe this will take you down to the underside of the boat. I don't know. To the barracks. Aha! Um, I don't know why there are floating beds. But hey, it's okay. I don't mind. So here's the barracks. Which is okay. Barracks is always fun. So, and then to the engine room. Don't want to go up the ladder. Engine room. Here we go. So what looks like it has a boiler 2, a boiler 2, and a boiler 2. So that's some pretty good engines for this. If I were Dooley, I would be adding a gasoline 2 to give it a little bit more push. So now off into the cafeteria, or what is actually called in real life the mess hall, which is the best place on a boat. So there's tables, looks to be like the serving place where you get your grub and all that fun stuff so now to the material repair this guy was smart and he added what looks to be yeah these are oak stumps that way you can repair the upper deck if they get fired upon and then back here is I assume an empty room nice alrighty so let's head back up to the beginning I really like that that uh, materials room because it is <laughs> very very useful so let's see here back through the engine room back into this room and then up the ladder at the top of the ladder I would assume would be the main ah there we go the main area so like I said the ship prosentium quite the tongue twister um I would not want to be killed by it because it is a very good ship we've got a sonar it detects submarines and other stuff that likes to hide under the water. I love submarines because they're a little bit overpowered if you use them right. 
And then there's a launcher here. The launcher is for the plane on the back, which I will show you in just a sec. Navigation, it helps you find your way around the ocean. And a radio. I don't know why you have a radio. Nobody uses a radio. It's just extra money that you're spending, but you know, whatever. And then there's a detector, which I can't remember everything that that detects. Uh, funny. Um, but I know that it is a very, very, very good device. However, I would replace it with a hydrophone because hydrophones are a lot better. And then a radar. Radars are very good. So if we go all the way back up to the top here, we have the crow's nest. Yay! I like the crow's nest. So up here, you can basically see everything that is out here. And, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking this boat. There's not much I need to change, because it is quite the boat. Um, maybe the, uh, viewing amount in the front here, because you can't really see anything. But that's okay. I don't want to sneeze. <sighs> oh, I hate sneezes. On the side here, we have an AA gun, which I would assume would be on the other side, too. And now to the plane. My question is, how do you get up here? I, that's an odd way of getting up here, but you know, whatever. Here's another AA gun. And then up here is probably the weakest point of the boat for me, and that is just the the little plane. It needs some work, but I'm going to help him build a V-22 Osprey and make that a lot nicer. Make it a lot bigger. And a lot meaner because for, heck, a couple hundred bucks, you got a good attack heli. So, I think that is it for this boat. Overall, it's a great looking boat. I love it. It's got every compartment that you need. And, uh, there's not much that needs to be changed. Just that little plane there, and what else did I say needed to be changed? Um... I think that's it. Maybe the floating beds. Oh, the gas 2 engine. You, uh, Dooley, if you're watching this, you should probably add a gasoline 2 engine because that gives you a speed of 12 and that'll make this thing fly. Well, sort of. Because boats don't fly. But anyway, guys, this is it. Um, I'm going to bring you the next video. I'm going to see what boat I'm going to do. I'd like to find a really nice boat, something that can maybe top this, but this is a nice boat. I don't know if we can top it. So I think I'm going to end this video and say thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, I, I put work into it just because I love doing videos, and why not? Because videos are fun. So I will see you all later. This is the Polar Bear or Doing Man 97. And uh, I will see you guys later.